Wow, truly unbelievable. Our very own lovely, beautiful sister, Bianca Ojuku, that's the late Obi Ojuku's wife, reveals the only way Peter Obi can become Nigeria's president. You know, um, Peter Obi, you know, has been gaining a lot of acceptance and um, it's not about Peter Obi. Nigerians are yearning and crying for change and it has become a real, you know, serious issue where Nigerians are beginning to rise up to ensure that they get the right person into the right position so that the things can be different, you know. And so Bianca Ujuku is revealing because, I mean, she's been, she's been around for a while in Nigerian politics and um, knows about all that is going on, said the only way, in her opinion, she feels that Peter Obio or an Igbo man can become Nigerian's president is what we are currently seeing. Okay, is what we, is currently being revealed to us. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's give us, let's give you all the details. Late Bianca, late Ojuku's wife, Bianca, reveals the only way an Igbo man can become Nigerian's president. The widow of late Ojuku, the former ambassador to the Kingdom of Spain, Mrs. Bianca Ojuku, has shared her thoughts regarding the forthcoming presidential election. Bianca, who was speaking as a special guest at the year's Igbo Culture Carnival in Municipal in Mississippi, in the United States, stated that Southeast region could still produce Nigeria's next president. According to the Sun newspaper, Bianca stated that there is need for the Igbos to come together and remain united, as it is the only way the presidential position would get to the Southeast region. According to her, the presidential position is for the Southeast, especially this time. For so long we've been deprived and no progress in that regard. But division has played a great role. She noted that major stakeholders from the region are the ones working against this collective interest of the South East to produce Nigerians president. But if we can all unite, if we can all agree, if we can all together in one accord, make up our minds and support our own, we will definitely get there. You cannot expect others to support you when you have not done your own homework. If you want people to support you, you will have to, first of all, be a great follower of you. You must believe in what people must support. I hear with regards to our very own brother, Peter Obi, and some people, some governors, some stakeholders in the very region has promised themselves that they will never vote for him. How can we make a move and make a win when we are disunited. Mrs. Bianca Ujuku, hats off for you. You are a true Igbo woman, beautiful as you are. In this regard, I truly hat for you. On a more serious note, I will tell you three stakeholders, if not more, who have, you know, who have disdained and rubbished the person of Peter Obi. You know, so they toss a king for your own house, they not get respect for him. Why outside people they praise them, put it in your house, not they regard them. Yes? Now listen, the governor of Ebony State says he will never support Peter Obi. Former governor of Abia State, yes, Uzo Kalu, said he will never, that even if he does not get, this, this is a reported speech, it's not my words, I'm telling what he said, that even if he does not get, he does not get APC presidential um, tickets, he will never support Peter Obi. The governor of Imo State, Hope, says the state is obedient, but the obedience is only to Ashiwaju Ahmed Bola Tenobo, that they will never support Peter Obi. Those are three state key holders, okay, in the region. Now, others still have their own, but I don't want to go into the length and breadth of that. But what are we getting at? What is exactly happening? If you buy a dog and you call that dog Jackie Shan, people will join you and call that dog Jackie Shan. If you call that same dog 
Jerry, Michael. Now people, now you might be named Abby. People go join you. Call that dog that same name. If you call that dog Bingo, get out of here. People go join you. Call that dog Bingo. It's as you lay your bed, so you will lie on it. What you do and how you do it is how people. If you don't consider yourself, if you if you treat yourself anyhow, they're not gonna help you treat yourself anyhow. They will step on you, undermine you, rubbish you. You'll be so, in fact, you will not believe what will happen. So these are some of the things going on and why every single one of us, okay, must ensure that our hearts are made up on who we believe we want to support to ensure that the person helped to drive Nigeria in the right direction. The things that are happening, the things that are going on are becoming a clear reality that change is inevitable. And so we must go for it. We must work for it. We must be intentional. We must drive it. We must do all we possibly can for the days upon us. Okay? Our days where every one of us must get on board and ensure that the right person. Because if your own region is divided, you are the one who is, you know, you, you, you are washing down your own people. They are having a conversation, for instance, and they are saying, ah, this man is doing quite well. He's like, saying, hey, not my name. Unwa. I better forget. I know Peter will be, oh, you from the South is saying that. We're not talking about re- we're not I mean we're not a promoting region kind of whatever no but we're saying that if you if you that is from that very household destroy what you are supposed to be protecting who do you expect to protect it for you and so Bianca Ojuku you are absolutely right and correct on this regards and grounds and I totally completely agree with you yes my people what do you think about what Bianca Ojuku has said said so the Igbos you know the southeast. Uh, or the eastern region, as it were, must make up their mind, first of all, that they want the presidency. Every one of them work together, ensuring that indeed, okay, what they are, what they are looking out for it becomes, you know, becomes a reality and begin to support one another in that regards and that ground and begin to do everything, humanly speaking, possible to ensure that, you know, they get to that position. And as they begin to do that, yes, if you if you can if you can really position yourself in that regard and ensure that truth is inevitable, then something will happen. Okay, then something different or something else will happen. Yes. So this is what is going on right now. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Remember that every one of us must arise to the must arise. Okay, to what is right. Bye for now.